Hi there, this is Eric with Prince and Supply. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Bissell OptiClean Cyclonic Bagless Canister Vacuum Model 1535. That was definitely a mouthful. Uh, this is a best selling vacuum on Amazon.com, priced at $89.99. If you'd like to find out more information, please click on the link below to be taken to the Amazon product page. Today, we're going to be going through an unboxing, build the vacuum. We're going to highlight the features, show you how to use the vacuum. Then we're going to do a performance test, vacuum up various items on different types of flooring. Then we're going to do a durability test and drop the vacuum. And in the end, we're going to do our conclusion and give you our final thoughts. Again, this is the Bissell OptiClean Cyclonic uh, bagless canister vacuum. It's model number 1535. Let's get started. Here we are with the unboxing for the Bissell OptiClean Cyclonic Bagless Canister Vacuum. It's model number 1535. Alright, let's see what we got. First have our hose. And we have various parts. We have our extension wand. Multi surface floor tool. And we have the vacuum. And we got our user manual. in a nice purple color. Okay. That. Okay, so here we are. We have our vacuum. Has a good feel to it. Solid. Uh, we have our multi purpose floor tool. We have our dusting brush, crevice tool, and an additional uh, looks like a upholstery floor tool. Uh, some sort of uh, extension here, probably everything goes on there. We have our wand, and we have our hose. Okay, so let's see here. Let's build the vacuum. Uh, now, I'm not even going to look at the user manual. Let's see how easy it is to put it together like most people do. So, uh, we have our extension hose. Let's see if we just pop this in. Looks simple enough. And, uh, there we go. And, uh, let's see, I'm pretty sure this is just going to go on the end here. forget about this. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, let's attach that. Now you're not going to be able to leave the hose anywhere on the vacuum just because of how small it is. All right, here we are. We just finished the unboxing. It took a few minutes. The vacuum actually that came out. About a half an hour. Ah, well, <laughs> let's hope not. Yeah. No, this was a yeah. This was a really good vacuum. It was easy to put together. It came out of the box, uh, pretty much fully assembled. Uh, this is already attached. The only thing you had to put together was the hose and the extension wand. Took about two minutes or so, so uh, I think anyone could really build this vacuum. It's really good. Now we're going to talk about the features and how to use the vacuum. Now this is not your typical upright vacuum. If you look at it, it doesn't have any of those other features. This is really a specialty vacuum. This is going to be your second vacuum. Yeah, it's pretty cool looking. It's really neat actually. Um, right out of the box. Right, so guys take a look at this. It's a really neat looking vacuum, kind of stylish, uh, Europeanish maybe or so. Um, really, really neat. The nice thing I like about this vacuum is the actual reach that you get. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to fully extend the extension. I'm going to attach the crevice tool here. And I want to show you actually how much reach you're going to get with this vacuum. So I'm going to back up a little bit. 
I'm going to pick the vacuum up and I'm going to show you all of this. This is a lot of reach, okay? So this is what makes this vacuum different. Now if you have hard to reach places, stairs, uh, drapery, upholstery, things like that, this is what it's going to be used for. So how, lo how, long, was the, uh, how long did we figure that was? Right, so with the hose and the extension wand fully extended, you have about 10 feet of reach. Now that's not including the retractable cord, which is another feature with the vacuum. So on the back side here, if you can see, you're going to pull this out. Again, this is a retractable cord. So make sure your feet or fingers aren't anywhere near here. But when you push this button, it's going to retract for you. Uh, this was 14 feet in length. So again, you're going to have that 14 feet of length with the cord, and you're going to have 10 feet of reach with this. So that's what makes this vacuum really, really cool. That's 24 feet. 24 yeah, feet. Even I can figure that out. That's right. I, I couldn't even think about that. So good job. <laughs> now, we're going to go over a few other features with the vacuum here. You write, so on the other side, you have your retractable cord here. You have your power button. Uh, we have a separate filter in the back right here. If I could just get this out. I'm not going to worry about that right now. But again, this is removable, and you can wash that every once in a while. Let it dry before you put it back inside. Uh, Let's talk about the, the canister here. Again, really easy to remove. Just push on this gray button. Pop this open. You have a removable, uh, washable filter. Again, make sure that's dry as well before you use the vacuum. And on the back side, you have your push to empty, easy empty dirt tank. That's why they call it that. I simply just pop that back on. That's ready to go. Now let's talk about the extension wand here. You have what they call a airflow regulator. Yeah, in case it gets caught on the drapes or something. There you go, exactly. If you have too much suction, you can release this. It'll actually take a lot of the, uh, the tension off of here. And we have tools. We have our crevice tool. We have a dusting brush and you have another uh, multi-purpose floor tool here. This neat little bad boy right here is going to snap on and you can take your tools with you while you vacuum. So again, neat little feature as you're using this. Very handy. Pop it right off. And there you go. No having to reach back here since this cord's so long. And you have your multi-purpose floor tool. So it's going to come just like this. Now if you want to pop a brush out, you're simply going to push on this button and you're going to get a nice little brush here and a little rubber strip in the back. What this does as you're vacuuming, if you're ever using a, a normal upright vacuuming and you're on a hard floor like your kitchen or whatnot, you're going to notice that a lot of stuff is actually getting pushed towards your feet. Well, what this little rubber strip does, it actually blocks it and it keeps it in this area so it sucks it up. So it's kind of cool. So this is good for carpeting and hardwood floors as well, hardwood, laminate and so forth. Uh, so, I just want to quickly just go over some of the other things we have here. So again, this vacuum is about 11 pounds, 3 ounces. So it's going to weigh almost as much as your lightweight vacuum. But again, it's, it's really convenient. It's easy to hold. You can take yeah, it with take, you. Yeah, just take the hose off because then right. you're going up the stairs, you just take the hose off. It's very compact. It's easy. Look at that. Just walk right up the stairs, no problem. Again, see most upright vacuums, you actually have to pick them up above your shoulder, which makes it really hard to go up to places. This is simple. Keep it down here. Really easy to use. Again, comes with an automatic cord rewind. You have a... I did, thank you. Well, I just want to be thorough here. Um, but again, large capacity, empty dirt cup tank. We talked about that. We have your telescoping extension wand. You have your carpet and floor nozzle, which is somewhere around here. Uh, again, this vacuum is really good for carpets and hardwood floors. Uh, again, this is your second vacuum, okay? Keep that in mind. So uh, it's not going to replace your main household vacuum with large open areas. This is a specialty vacuum. You're going to use it on stairs, upholstery, drapes, hard to reach areas. Especially with upright vacuum, you can't really get underneath the bed or behind desk and corners. This is perfect for that, okay? So again, 
Really cool vacuum. We like the look of it. Really cool features. So uh, thank you very much. Now we're gonna get on with our, our other performance test. Thank you. Okay, we're back now. We're gonna do a sound test. We already turned the vacuum on. It sounds pretty quiet, but we're gonna do a decibel readout for you so you can see exactly how loud it is. So we're first gonna turn the vacuum on. There you have it, uh, 98 decibels. Yeah, but it was pretty quiet. I think you could even talk. You could even talk while you were doing it. I think so. This is actually that. a really quiet vacuum. I mean, even if, um, let's say you had to do a quick spot clean at a night after the kids are asleep, uh, 98 decibels just doesn't sound accurate, I guess. I mean, this, this yeah, is the readout. Had, I think you had it too close to there. Maybe, but again. It's a really quiet vacuum. Don't put your ear next to them. <laughs> Don't put your ear next to the motor and it won't be 98 decibels. There you go. It's a good vacuum. So again, that was our sound test. Thank you. Okay, here we are for our performance test. Again, we're going to vacuum up various items as you can see here. We're going to see how well the vacuum performs. So first we're going to use our crevice tool to give more of a real demonstration. So I'm going to extend the nozzle Again, this is going to be more realistic here. And we're going to turn the vacuum on and see what we can get up. Yeah, we should turn it on before we, before we use it. Really? Yeah. This? <laughs> You're right. It doesn't work. Okay. I think I should turn it on. Always turn it on before you use it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and oh, look turn at that. Or plug, and plug it oh, in first. See, I got to plug it in. See, it, it requires electric power. It's, That's right. It's not solar powered. Yet I vacuum so well at home, and I just I can't do it here at work. Okay, here we go. Okay. Wow. This has really good suction. It's a really sucky vacuum, I gotta say. Wow. Look at that. Pretty good. Okay, so I can't imagine using a crevice tool on an open carpet, that's gonna take forever. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change out the crevice tool and we're gonna use this multi-purpose upholstery tool. There we go. Let's try that now. Still, the suction's really good. Pretty good power. Again, the, the hair's gonna stick a little bit but that's because you don't really have too much of a brush here. That's pretty typical of all uh, upholstery tools. But it still did come up. There we go. So now I'm going to remove this multi-purpose tool. Get that on there. And we're going to use this multi-purpose tool. Again, I don't have the brush out. Still good suction, look at that, one pass, one pass. That's really good. We'll go back, there we go. You may have to lift up a little bit, so let me uh, put the, the brush down, see if that makes a difference. Again, it's on direct contact with the floor, so that's why we're having that issue. But again, with the brush out, you're getting all the hair up too. There we go, I like that. And there we go. So, performance-wise, that went really well. I think for a canister vac, uh, again, there's no, this is not connected to the vacuum. So let's- yeah, no beater bar. No beater bar, right. There's no belt being driven by the motor on here. So you have to keep that in mind as well with this kind of vacuum. It's not yeah, a household not vacuum. Yeah, you're not going to do a lot of open, like a, a lot of open floors. Um, right. It's really, it's really for edges ceilings, drapes, and things of that There you go. So, so for this kind of situation, you know, it again, maybe late at night, kids made a mess, you put them to bed really quick, and you got to vacuum up before the end of the night, I think this is pretty good. You can quickly little, you know, spot cleaning here and there, but again, you're not going to do your entire living room with this vacuum. Again, this is your second specialty vacuum. All right, thank you. All right, now we're going to do the punishment test. That's now. right, let's okay. break this baby. We're going to punish this bad boy. Let's break her. 
Okay, here we are for our drop test, punishment test. So we're going to do more of a... a, we're a break stuff. That's right. <laughs> I hope this we're doesn't just break. break stuff. It's not... Uh, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're going to do more of a, a realistic approach here. So let's say um, you're vacuuming up the stairs or this is on a table somewhere. You need to reach somewhere really high. Again, this is a real realistic situation here. You know, this will happen at some point. So let's see what happens. Okay, again, so... I'm vacuuming, vacuuming, vacuuming. I'm not really paying attention to that. I'm just off doing my thing. And then, oops, you know, uh, I forget that it's on the table. Oh no. My vacuum. And look at that. Nothing. Nothing at all. Let's do it again. All right, here we go. Ready? A little bit, a little bit harder this time. Uh, I'm really angry. I'm cleaning up a mess from the kids the previous night. Oh my gosh. And there. Look at that. It hit me in the leg. I didn't feel a thing. And skin. Okay, right, ready? Here. Okay, there we go, there we go. And that, that could happen, that could happen. You're holding the vacuum up the stairs. Oops, your finger gets tired, it pops out. Uh, we did have a little bit of a mess here. I'm not really sure where that came from. Uh, probably right here, actually, in the back. But again, look at that. Pop it right back in. Bad boy's ready to go. No damage. There we go. Again, this is the, the Bissell OptiClean uh, Cyclonic. Uh, bagless canister vacuum. That that's definitely a mouthful what to say. Is it, number 1830, what is uh, it's 1535. Model 1535. If you want to find out more information about this vacuum, make sure you click on the link below. You'll be taken to our Amazon product page. Thank you for watching. Okay, our conclusions are coming up, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, they are. All right. Here we are with our conclusion. We're going to give you our final thoughts on the vacuum. So again, going back straight to the unboxing, small package. This is pretty heavy, uh, surprisingly. Small package, that's what she said. <laughs> I'm married, so I don't care. <laughs> All right. I hope she doesn't care. Um, so again, this thing came right out of the package, ready to go. It really did. You know, this was all put together. The only thing you had to do was, again, attach the hose, the extension wand, the floor tool if you want, pop this on. It took me a few minutes to really f uh, figure out where this goes. Uh, again, you have your retractable cord, which is really neat. That's 14 feet estimation. You have 10 feet of reach. Uh, so this is, again, your second vacuum. Okay, so, you know, you could consider that a pro or a con. It's based on what you want. If you're going to buy this as your main vacuum, uh, unless you have a really small place or you keep it clean, I don't suggest it. I really, really don't. You're going to have your main vacuum, your upright vacuum. It's gonna do your, your big open areas. This is your specialty vacuum. It's a spot cleaner, it's a stair cleaner, upholstery, uh, great on couches. I mean, can you imagine picking up an upright vacuum, which I do at home. I'm picking up my vacuum and I'm vacuuming the side of my couch, really, because of my dog. So this is a really cool vacuum. I, I'm, I'm thinking about getting this myself. This is really, really neat. Again, during our performance tests, really good power. Again, it doesn't have a beater bar and, and, and a belt driven by the motor. I mean, it's just, it's just from here. This is really good. It's a really, really strong vacuum. Okay. So, I mean, for me, for the pros, I like it because it's small, it's compact. It's 11 pounds, but again, it's not heavy. You can, you can hold it down to your side while you're walking around the house, going up the stairs, even having to reach high up. It's, it's very feasible. Okay. So pros, it's lightweight, really long reach for a small vacuum like this, really good suction, okay? So again, this vacuum doesn't really have pros and cons. It's based on what you want from a vacuum, okay? So everything that I just mentioned, it could be a pro and it could be a con. So we're gonna let you decide that, okay? Um, again, this is, it's a best-selling vacuum on amazon.com. It's priced at $89.99, so it's a, it's a bit high. Okay, for, you could go out and buy a cheap upright vacuum, you know, for about the same price. This is your second vacuum. Okay, so if you want to find out more information, cl click on the link below to be taken to the Amazon product page. And uh, so here at Princeton Supply, we definitely give it a thumbs up. Okay, it's a good vacuum. You should give it a try. Uh, don't forget to like our video and share it. Subscribe to our channel and feel free to leave a comment down below. This is Eric with Princeton Supply. Thank you for watching.